Stars, it's perfectly preserved. I can almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I've never seen one of these intact. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. Why would the Scourge target that ship? It must have been a remnant vessel, or maybe there's remnant tech in the helmet itself. Can you imagine? Our ancestors using the remnant. I need to study this further to fully understand it. I'll let you know if I discover anything. You got it. Thank you, Pathfinder. You said the helmet was touched by the Scourge? What does that mean? I forget your people weren't around for... that. When the Scourge appeared, it targeted remnant ships, broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled... The ships crashed. But that may not be all. The Scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Stars. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. I should get moving. Come back soon. Welcome back. looks mostly unexplored. It was charted. Once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. I'm picking up something. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Thank you. 
making up something. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. I found something. Picking up something. Satellite detected. Forget how small we are.
that might be true again. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Got a reading from the asteroid belt.
anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. 
I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds the Angarai. It's ice. And those oceans? Frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. Suvi wasn't kidding about the cold. Severe temperature drop. Damn, this place is well hidden. Where are we meeting the resistance team? Sent you the nav point. Good luck, Pathfinder. there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive.
Good to see you again, Commander Dalziel. And you, Jarl. You must be Ryder. Jarl told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice. Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Ryder? No. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. If your current approach isn't working, we'll need to find another one. Our main problem is a lack of fighters. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the Ked? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the Ked, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the Commander needs recruits, we'll find them. Jal's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Squadron head for Roa. I'm picking up hostiles two clicks south of you. Hold. Hostile patrol approaching. Hope they give me a patrol soon. You think I'll see any cat? Not likely. They don't venture this close to the camp. An impressive surveillance system. You don't win a war without good organization. From this room, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the Resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Dov Yakar's Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. 
Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Techix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Kedem occupied. The bright spots on the map, are those cities? Cities under siege by the Ket, yes. The largest, Estrella, was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. Tell me more about Estrella. It's the recent focus of Ket attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ket learned that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angara. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angara who live in Dara are combat trained. Ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ket are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ket camps. The Ket know this and use it against us. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. Those data pads are encrypted. How did you... I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planetside, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way, no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Joe, my friend. Decryption Where successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point.
I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. Good, you're in the clear. Proceed to objective. dealt with me. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Don't you have more important places to be? I'm Pathfinder Ryder with the Andromeda Initiative from... Wonderful. You're from far away. Do they have magical healing where you're from? Nothing more advanced than what you have. Then where you're from is useless to me right now. Stand over there. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder could help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder.
out about the cat ambush. It's out there. I looked over the recruits at the center. for death. But I brought the snacks. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien, the one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself, so thank you. See? We're building bonds here to seek. So, what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights, you said that's Hajara? Yes, Hajara Station, one of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. How do they live out there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous, don't the Ket attack? We've adapted to that too. The Ket want to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? 
That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care, stay safe. You be safe too, Jala Madarov. As your sister recovered from her mission, she was brave. So brave. She is. Both recovered and brave. Thank you for asking. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your... Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Ket activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Ket military efforts on Volt. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. What about the Angara, the Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hujara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. That means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Lights, Ryder. Trust me. Please be careful, Ryder.
sure the AI rulebook doesn't insist the Pathfinder always gets to drive. I swear I will turn this car around. Temperatures back to normal. That's it. Good work. 